Jason Leno here. Today's video is going to be another quick little tip but on a topic that a lot of people have a hard time grasping and that is putting weight on as a vegan. Now it is possible, I've done it, and lots of people have done it and quite frankly we've done this by simply doing one thing and that is learning to consume a lot of fat. Now being in the fitness industry or being a health nut you wouldn't automatically think that's what I would want to say. But in fact, eating fat is a very, very important thing, especially being a vegan. The reason why I say that is because, in my opinion, eating a higher fat diet as a vegan will help implement certain characteristics that you're missing from an omnivore diet, like your calorie surplus, your amino structure, and your hormone balance. So we'll start off with hormones. Naturally, we all know Fats is what helps balance your hormones. It's what helps promote hormones like your t typical testosterone and even the hormones that help you promote protein synthesis. And if you don't have protein synthesis, you can't really build muscle. So consuming fats to help attain this is definitely going to be beneficial. When now when we come to the amino structure, it comes back to protein synthesis because believe it or not, you can have a decent amount of amino acids throughout your diet but the major one you will be missing is leucine now if you look at your heavy leucine sources you are going to be finding fattier proteins you will be finding your tofu you will be finding your nuts and your seeds your avocados you need to have that heavy source of fat to help implement that essential amino acid that will promote your protein synthesis. Because even though we're on a vegetarian diet or a vegetable diet, I should even say, you need to get that protein synthesis to help heal your muscles after you break them down. And once you do that, that is what promotes size. Now, the last point that I'm gonna bring across is calories. Now, when it comes to your typical macronutrient breakdown, we have your protein, carbohydrates, and fat. Your protein and carbohydrates is four calorie per gram, but your fats is nine calories per gram. So if you're like me and you're eating over 100 grams of fat, you're going to be having over 900 calories in your diet. So being able to promote that surplus and being able to promote that hormone balance and being able to promote that essential amino structure by consuming a mass amount of fats is going to be very beneficial for putting on size. Because in the industry I'm in, of being in powerlifting, you can't really be a skinny powerlifter. Like, you don't have to be fat, but if you're not able to put on that essential size for the leverages and for the muscle building, you will not be able to achieve the goals you've put in front of you. So that is why I've always consumed a mass amount of fat being on a vegan diet, and that is why I will always promote it. Now, when I say mass amount, I don't want you guys to think excessive. I do try to keep a balance, right? So if we were to say track my macros, they would be to one gram of protein, like two and a half grams of carbs and one gram of fat per pound. So I do try to keep a very balanced diet. However, if you compare it to a typical diet with a half gram of fat, then it would be considered a mass amount. So hopefully this helps you guys. I feel it would be very beneficial if you're vegan to consume more fats because then that way you will be able to put on that desired size that you may be missing. All right, guys, that's the video. Hopefully it works out for you. Love you. See you next time. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. 
feel free to drop a comment down below about what you saw or what you guys would like to see next. And also, spread that love by hitting the like, share, and that big fat subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time.